Hello and welcome to this episode of Turbo Shed and today we are going to be fitting a Haltech IQ3 Street Dash. Yes, this is the Haltech IQ3 and one of the reasons that we're fitting this, uh, that if you remember back to an episode about a year ago or something like that, um, we, we let Stig have a go. Um, Stig uh, slammed it backwards into a tyre wall um, and since then none of the dials on the dash have worked. You okay? Yeah, I'm alright. Sorry, Richard. That's okay. Turn in. Power, power, power. Power, power. You okay? Yeah, I'm alright. Sorry, Richard. All the needles fell off. The needles broke and fell off. So every single one of them, fuel so gauge, rev counter, temperature and, and speed, speed uh, it broke all of the dials on the dash. Um, so we've had no dash since then, just warning lights. So <laughs> now we've got the Haltech working. Some of the warning lights don't even work anymore. Well, that's true. <laughs> um, so we decided that we would get one of these. Um, this is the IQ3 Street version. The reason we've done that, we haven't gone for the data logger uh, because it was about 500 quid more and it seemed a bit pointless considering that we can log with the laptop, uh, we can log with the Haltech with, itself. Um, the Haltech itself. So having another logger in the car was pointless. Um, then we've gone for the street one uh, because it has the indicator lights, handbrake warning light and all that stuff which um, we do fancy putting this back on the road and if we do that we need those for the MOT. So Street hunting this does ship. everything we need it to and it'll give us all the dials and flashy lights and stuff like that. Um, so I think what we need to do now is we need to rip the dash out that we've got in there. We need to mark all of the wires that we need to wire into this uh, because this comes with its own um, harness. Um, it connects straight into the can on the ECU so we can use it for um, the data off the off the ECU directly um, but some of the data for instance for the indicator lights and handbrake warning light we need to wire into the car yeah. and they're already wired behind the existing dash so it's just a case of finding the right wires cut them off and splice yeah. them into this harness for this so I think it's time to uh, pull the dash out and um, we'll make an aluminium plate that fits on the back of this that screws into the existing dash and I've uh, got some very floppy needles Yep, and then we can start doing some wiring. So that's it, Leon. I think get the screwdrivers and uh, let's pull the other dash out and do a bit of wire finding first. Cool. Let's do it. Yep. is inside our dash and uh, we've got four connectors here um, and we need to find um, this one on the left here is actually that's got the oil pressure light and the handbrake light so we need two of those we need to find out which two and from this bunch of spaghetti that we've got here we need the indicator lights um, the side lamps and high beam so we'll find out which ones they are as well so it's a little bit of multimeter and wire testing now We've got our connectors, so on this one we've got um, the oil switch and the handbrake, which we'll use as warning lights. Um, on these ones here we've got left hand indicator, high beam and right hand indicator. And on this one here we've got our um, side lights so we can use it for dimming the dash at night. I think that's all the wires we need. Um, next thing is we've got these mounting holes, one here, one here and two up here, which are the standard mounts. Uh, we now need to make an aluminium plate to sit in there and then we can mount the dash to it. So that's next job. So now we are going to be using CAD, Cardboard Aid Design, for those who don't know about Project Binky on YouTube. Um, cardboard Aid Design, basically, template, 
draw around it, cut it, make an aluminium out of it, you're done. Cab. Get cutting. Cutting. Might have to So here's the cardboard template that Leon made, that seems to fit okay, we'll just put a bit more material there um, and we've got our mounting holes and the dash will just sit against there like that so it's in the sunshade and so I think that's good. We'll go and find a sheet of aluminium at the scrap box, uh, mark it round and get it cut. Good job. Plates in, all bolted in on all four mounting holes, and we've cut the hole in the middle and the three bolt holes for the dash. So we're just gonna get the dash and try it in. Just like that. Looks good. How does that look? Yeah, it's right in the middle here. Good stuff. Looks good to me. Right, let's take it out, paint it black, uh, and do some wiring while the paint dries.
So here's the dash plate and the dash. So pops in there and we've got our connector F test at the back, which is nice and easy. Stick these washers on and the nuts. That's the dash mounted, so we need to mount the switches there. There we are, there's the dash unit with the buttons in, button one and two in the dash. So it's nice because we can plug and unplug it. So here we are, we'll get these plugged in. That's the programming cable, the main connector. That's button one, put that on the left. Button two on the right. And pop it in. Job done. Sorted. I'm going to turn it on and see how it looks. Right, let's test it, see what it looks like. Start the car up to test it so it like, shows the legs and stuff. <laughs> that looks amazing. So there you go, that's how you install our Haltec IQ3 dash into a wrecked LS400. So um, just finished just in time because it's literally just started to rain. So perfect timing on that and we all we have to do now is program it up so we've got all the different screens that we want for the either on road use or track use or all the rest. Um, there's tons of YouTube tutorials out there so we don't need to show that. Just search up IQ3 programming and you'll find something pretty quickly. And yeah, so um, join us next time for the next episode of Turbo Shed. Yep, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe, share, let people know what we're up to. And um, yeah, we hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching.